Hello everybody, I'm Stefano Matteucci, a professional cellist, violinist, singer and composer. I studied in Santa Cecilia's conservatory and graduated in 2003. Now, I want to start a series of lessons that will lead you from grade 1, from the very basics of learning the cello, to grade 8. I'm gonna follow ABRSM uh, system but I will also implement it with the Italian method, which is basically um, the Santa Cecilia's. Let's start now for, from the very beginning, what I usually uh, do with my students, my private students. What do I do? First of all, I tell them to leave the cello, which seems funny, but it's exactly what I do. Leave the cello and focus on the bow. Why the bow? Because the bow is 80% of music. It's what is most influential when we play music. The bow is 80% of it. This is just a technician, but this is the soul of making music. Now, how do we hold the bow? That's very important. It's what I call the um, rule of the rings. We have rings that we do, we make by um, putting the fingers this way. This works bo both for this hand, the left hand and the right hand. So basically we place the thumb in this little space between leather, I'm gonna show you, the leather and the wood, we place the thumb this way on the very tip of the thumb and then this finger, middle, will be opposite, like a ring. Now, why do I say a ring? Because it needs to be more or less a circle where I have to be able to see through. Not and half moon but a circle now i place the finger this way and the others will just follow like this now the fingers needs to be round round not flat round and the most important fingers are these three these two fingers here can we just be lazy on top like this? They are not that important. What is important is this finger, this finger, and this finger. Mm? The thumb, little finger, and the pointing finger. Okay? Now, these three fingers hold the bow. This is the position where I can see through. Now, how can we practice this position? I usually ask my students to start with a pencil. This is a pencil and this is the position. Now, what do we do? We stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. If you don't like the pencil because it feels too small, you can do it with the bow by putting a finger, placing it here to hold the weight of it. But it's important that you stretch where all the fingers stretch like a falling leaf, leaf falling from the tree. They all stretch and they bend, stretch and bend. Now this movement seems easy but it's not. Stretching, bending, stretching and bending. Without it it's going to be like this. Stretching, bending. Well all the fingers bend, all of them, including the thumb. Once you are confident of this, you can start an horizontal movement. 
as well. The important thing is that you don't move the forearm and the arm in general, but just the fingers and a bit of wrist. So you do vertical, vertical movement, horizontal movement. This is to loosen all this mechanism, which is very, very, very important. Once these two movements are clear, you can do rotation. Rotation. The forearm is still, doesn't move. But the fingers and a bit of wrist moves a lot. This is to get confidence and flexibility on your bow. Never place the thumb this way because it's rigid. It doesn't allow you much movement. Whilst if, it, if it's this way, it can bend and you can see the movement is a lot. Hmm? Why is this important? Because when you play, you need to have flexibility here to have a smooth sound that is not that is never stiff see you at the next lesson